I don't know about you, but when I look to put together the ideal golf trip, of course it includes quality courses, and today we've got those. But it also includes a great deal of fun and activities in life and history and beauty off the course. Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we have in store for you today as we have come to the unmistakable beauty in northern Michigan known as Charlevoix. Welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television, celebrating our 20th season of shining the spotlight on the best places to stay, play, and enjoy the greatest game on earth. Stay connected 24-7 to MGL on Facebook, Twitter, our weekly radio show, and podcasts on the all-new 4golfersnetwork.com. Hello, friends, and welcome into the show. I'm Bill Hobson. It's great to have you with us as today we shine the spotlight on one of the most spectacular destinations, not just in northern Michigan, but really anywhere in the country. After all, the motto here is Charlevoix the Beautiful, and one look out here at Lake Charlevoix tells you that that motto is well earned. Coming up in the moments ahead, we've got four golf courses, a bunch of fun and life and activity and history and just a whole lot of beauty to explore and enjoy. So let's get things started by heading to our first golf course as we showcase for you today, Charlevoix the Beautiful. As we set out on our journey to explore the beauty of Charlevoix, we come to a beautiful golf course. What an experience, what a place here at the Charlevoix Country Club. And uh, Keith Grunch, this is home for you. And our interview setting couldn't be nicer. A couple of chairs behind Nine Green. Yep. Let me have you uh, share with everybody who has never been here, what's special about Charlevoix Country Club? Well, I think the first thing is just the condition of the golf course. It's uh, pristine condition, tee to green, not much blemishes out there, and it's, it's a fun course. There's a good mix of short par fours, long par fours, short par threes. Uh, the front nine is shorter, a lot of target golf, a lot of water, and then you flip to the back nine, and it's all cut out in the woods. Much more difficult, but um, it's just a great place, place to play. You mentioned conditioning, and it's backed up. Uh, in 2022, a pretty cool recognition came your way. Right. Yeah, we're uh, ranked sixth in the country, the best condition golf course by Golf Digest. That's pretty, pretty high praise, one would think. So, yes. And as we make our way around, uh, I haven't found anything to contradict that ranking, including the greens that are in pristine condition. But they can present a challenge if you're in the wrong spot. That's right. Yeah, a lot of these greens are two-tier greens and. If you short side yourself or back side a lot of spots, you'll be putting 15, 20 footers. Well, and those who have watched our show for any length of time know that we have a great appreciation and affinity for Jerry Matthews yep. and the design work that he's done throughout Michigan, and this is his baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry Matthews, great designer, golf course. I think he's got over 30 in Michigan. Now, on behalf of our viewers, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. Just because the words country club appear in the title, doesn't mean it's a private property. Everybody can come play here. Correct, yes, we're open to the public. We're not a private golf club. Well, this is the first course that our viewers are going to see in our Charlevoix special. So let me ask you this, what is special about Charlevoix in general, this region? Right, well, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got water surrounded everywhere, Round Lake, Lake Michigan, Lake Charlevoix. So the boaters are happy and you've got golf courses, endless amount of golf courses out here. It has been a lot of years since I've been to this golf course and the, the time we've spent together going around it reminded me of what a beautiful course it is. It, not easy, but a right. beautiful course, but you don't have to be a big bomber from the tips at 6,500 yards, which these days kind of qualifies as, as mid-range. Correct. Yeah, it's a difficult golf course. Our course record out here is 67, which will tell you a little bit about it, how tough it is, because most courses are 62, 61, so it's challenging. With some creative editing, I think we both took that number down today. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you, thanks so much. You too, thank you. As we depart your sister course, the Charlotte Boy Country Club, we come over here to Antrim Dells, and the views are incredible. So sell the soap here. What is special about Antrim Dells? Well, we say it's where the magic is. Um, it's got a lot of history here. Uh, had the Michigan Amateur here at Belvedere. We were the place they qualified for. They went to Belvedere all through the 80s. It's designed by Jerry and Bruce Matthews, four and a half stars out of five. Our greens are really, really nice. We pride ourselves on our greens, and we've done a lot of work on the course. We've taken down 400 plus trees. We spent half a million dollars on golf carts, machinery, tractors. Uh, so really, we've been up in our game quite a bit. 
Take us to the first tee and kind of walk us through, if you would, a front nine highlights tour of Antrim Dells. Well, the first tee is right down that way. I call it Bayview or Southbound in honor of the Allman Brothers. Um, par five, easy opening par five, followed probably by our toughest hole, number two. And then we've got a third hole as a pond, par three, it's got brook trout in it. Our fifth hole's awesome par, little par three, and we got snapping turtles that I actually feed apples to in there. <laughs> so this, that's really cool. I mean, people that never played golf, they're hooked on that. Um, kind of op more open, um, six, seven, eight, nine, more of a parkland, as they would say, and we let the heather grow up. We uh, just cut it down, getting ready for the fall. But uh, it's I like the front nine better. Of course, most eight out of 10 like the back nine better, a little more wooded, but they're both, the front nine's really challenging. It, it, it opens up, plays pretty quick, which is good for when we're busy and then they go around to the back and through a lot more trees on the back. You and I are standing on one of the highest points on the property where you can see water in, in many directions and we're also standing on 10 T. So if you would walk us through that back nine that so many people like. Well, 10 is really nice. It's a, a opening hole. It's got a big um, maple tree that you can take it over the top. I kind of, what's nice, I can, I'll be on the deck and tell them take it over the top of the maple. Uh, we've got the forward tees that work out really good too. So 10's a good challenging uh, par four. 11's kind of straight away open. 12 I think is my favorite hole out here, par five. We've really backed the trees back a little bit to give a tee shot because it kind of growing in. The place hadn't had a haircut in 50 years. And then um, we had a cart path in the middle of the fairway. We just yanked that out this week. It didn't make it look very pretty, but uh, 12 is a really good golf hole. It's a three shot hole. It's really hard to get home in two. And then there's 17 and 18, which have, uh, heard a lot of good rounds down the stretch if people don't pay attention. It's much more fair now. We put lateral hazard on the right-hand side. Back in the amateur days, they had white stakes there. So, uh, and 18 is a, kind of famous for its green. It's a very tricky green. When people come here, I said, everything breaks towards Lake Michigan, except nine and eight go the other way, and number 18 goes however it wants. This, uh, this experience of golf and life and fun in the Charlevoix area is something you live for those who haven't come up here to do all that, what are they missing out on? Well, they're missing out on people being nicer, being patient, being friendly, you know. Um, they're just missing on the sunsets. That's the most obvious thing they're missing. They're missing golf. Uh, the ones that don't play golf, I get a lot of people start on golf because they ride around with their significant other or the kids ride around and I make sure I give them a putter and all of a sudden they're hooked. You know, they might be bored with golf and then I swear to God, they see that snappy turtle on five and go, this place is cool. So <laughs> it's really, uh, golf's a great thing because as everyone says, you can do it your whole life. And the only really two things you're going against is um, yourself and the golf course. Welcome back into the show and our special look at golf, life, and fun in the Charlevoix, Michigan area. Up here in northern Michigan, it is as good as it gets. It's picture perfect everywhere you look. And every once in a while, I know you just want to cut back, maybe throw on some flip-flops, certainly get rid of the collared shirt and pleated shorts, and go play the kind of round of golf that you remember from when you were a kid. We've got a special treat for you here in the moments ahead, but first, give me a moment. I'll, I'll be right back. It's time to change into something a tad bit more comfortable. All right, now that definitely feels a lot better because it is time to relax here at the Charlevoix Golf Club, dating back to 1896. A municipal golf course just steps off and actually over US 31, walking only for less than $20 a round. Are you kidding me? This place is special. Here's a municipal course where I can relax, go for a walk, and also experience golf history at the same time. You've got a special place here. I, I feel, like you said, it's just a special, special place that's been here since 1896. And I have a doctor that lives down the road and he calls it the best walk in town. And it's just uh, truly a place where um, it's been here for over 126 years and we're still here walking the same grounds as people did before 1900. So yes, such a special place and walking only and um, it's just a great place to be. Some of the, the bigger names in golf history have played here and the, the first two holes, I understand, are still the original two holes. So you've, you've, you've actually had some greats here. Walter Hagen and just some, they used to host some um, major championships in the early 1900s with um, some of the best pros and they would come here and play here and at Belvedere and it's just really great history that, that we're still on. So unique. 
to have a walking only course, but it also crosses a pretty busy thoroughfare and people are very good about letting golfers go through. And in fact, your sixth hole has an approach shot that goes over an active road. Yep. So because this was built before roads were built. Exactly, we were here first and the roads infringed on us. And um, yep, number six, they actually had to move the tee box across the road and then your second or third shot, depending on how far you hit it, you have to hit it to the green across the road. So yep, it's, it's part of the, sorry to the specialness of this course, yeah. Another part of the specialness of the course is the affordability. This is perhaps the best value in golf that I've encountered in our quarter of a century of doing this show. You're telling me I can come out and walk here for under $20. That's crazy. This is a fantastic golf course. Um, I, I know that that's something that I, I think is important. You know, golf is becoming a, um, a wealthy sport. And what's great about coming to the Shalva Golf Club is it's still, like you said, $20 or less to play here and walk nine holes. And, um, and it's in amazing condition. It's amazing greens. Um, and that's just um, part of why we're, we're really a great place to come. So what's it like to be able to work at a place that you used to ride your bike to as a kid? It's like a dream. It's like a, like the field of dream dreams. It's one of those things that um, this place, I grew up hiding my clubs behind the church and riding my bike down and then I would play here. You know, and kids played all day, it's not just me. The kids that grew up in Charlevoix came, walked and walked and walked and you can still do it. Kids still do it. My son now does it and it gives me chills just the fact that it's, it's still the same as it was. and. We just need to keep it that way. What's it like for you to see golfers who are under the age of 10 and golfers who are over the age of 80 enjoying this piece of land? The property is very easy on the feet. It's, it's flat, it's not very undulating, so it's a good, easy walk. Kids can learn. I grew up here, I started playing here when I was seven, eight years old. Um, we have a great youth golf program here. Um, it's just great to see the kids out. and. As you said, uh, it's, it's great for all ages. We know that over the years of watching this show, you've developed an appreciation for great golf experiences. But one of my favorite aspects of what we do is when we come to a community like Charlevoix, we want to soak in the culture and the history and the beauty of the area. And here in Charlevoix, Mushroom House Tours is one of the great ways to do that. And Edith Pear, this is, this is your baby. You take people through this beautiful stretch of town with some fascinating stories. What's Mushroom House Tours all about? So Mushroom House Tours, we visit Earl Young's over 26 stone houses that he built between 1916 and the late 60s. And they're all stone and he did them only here. So that's what makes it so special. Now we're standing in front of the one that looks like a mushroom, but that's not the reason for the Mushroom House Tours. They, right. all, they all do share some common characteristics though. Yes, yeah, so he would never the, level the land off first, so they always look like they kind of grew right from the ground up. There is one in particular he did to look like a mushroom, but they're really more like gnome homes or hobbit houses, but just the feel of them growing from the ground up and keeping in with nature, that was his thing. The attention to detail, the use of humongous boulders, as well as smaller flat and a limestone looking rocks. It's it's so unique. I don't I don't know anywhere else I've seen architecture like this. Right, and just the fact he only did them here too, but he liked to make every house different too. So he never did the same thing twice. So on each house there's like a different detail or stone pattern that you won't see him do again. Well, nobody knows all of this more than Edith. So when you come to Charlevoix, Mushroom House Tours needs to be part of the schedule. It's fascinating and it's beautiful. Keeping alive that idea of history and culture in the Charlevoix area. What an amazingly beautiful and special place here at Castle Farms. Can you give us a feel for everything that happens in that campus behind you? I can do my best to, to fit it into a real quick short time. Um, so we do weddings, we do historic tours. We have collections from castles all over the world. We have turned our old blacksmith shop into a 1918 museum. Since the castle was built in 1918 by the former president of the Sears and Roebuck company, he wanted to advertise all of the farm equipment that he had for sale in the catalog, and he loved castles. So he turned it into a French Normandy style castle. So this essentially used to be a giant cow house. It was a big barn. Um, over the years, it's been an artist mecca. It was Woodstock of the North. We had concerts from the late 60s to the early 90s. Anybody A to Z that you can possibly imagine. 
Um, our owners purchased it in 2001 and they were able to get the original blueprints. So they were able to remodel it so it's historically accurate. And so we do lots of weddings. We have all of our guests come out and visit the property just to spend some time in the gardens and relax, enjoy the history that we have. It's over a hundred years, so lots of culture. And um, it's a really great add-on to the mushroom houses because it's more fantasy architecture and another piece that's only gonna be found in Charlevoix. After showing you a couple of the golf courses and the other fun you could have off the course in the greater Charlevoix area, I've worked up a bit of an appetite and it brings us downtown where we're going to introduce you to one of the most popular eateries anywhere along the main drag here and this is the Bridge Street Tap Room and I want to bring in the man in charge here. Hey, thank Aaron you. Jacob, how are you? Man? What a great Good. place. Pleasure. Glad to have you guys here today. Right, what's the vibe? of the tap room. The Vibe, we're a casual eatery, family restaurant. We focus on good food, good drinks, good service. Love having people in the doors. This is such a busy town, a busy yeah. place, and yet to have yeah. a chance just to kind of kick back, relax in a very casual environment like this, it's kind of fun. And the food, right. by the way, the food is really good. I appreciate that. Yep, we have a great culinary staff. We have a great service staff. Uh, we've been rocking since 2014. A lot of the crew has been with us since then and they make us who we are. There's nothing closer to the drawbridge than the tap room. So when you come down for sightseeing, you want to come in for lunch. It's good to see you. Thanks for having hey, us. My pleasure. Appreciate you being here. Welcome back into the show. I'm Bill Hobson. Great to have you with us as we continue our tour of golf, life, and fun in the Charlevoix area. We've got one more golf course to show you in the next couple of moments, but before we go there, I thought a little snack might be in order in the form of three desserts, all for myself, all courtesy of an incredible restaurant called Gray Gables, just a block from downtown. Greg Gables is such a special place. Uh, you know, we've been here since 1994 and get a lot of support from the local community. Um, it's just got a magical uh, feel to it. Uh, from the staff to the guests that come here for over the centuries, uh, you know, we do a lot of celebrations for anniversaries and weddings and, you know, special family time. So it's a, it's a place for everybody. I, you know, my wife and I have owned it since 1994 and uh, we feel like we're stewards of the place too as well because uh, it's such a special place for everybody's, you know, family's memories and uh, we just want to make sure that the building is well kept and kept up to par. So. Whether in a fantastic restaurant or on one of Charlevoix's stunning golf courses, that appreciation for history and the celebration of the beauty of the area runs deep, including throughout our final golf course on today's special program as we visit the historic Belvedere Golf Club where some of the game's biggest names have teed it up. The likes of uh, Gene Saracen, uh, Walter Hagen, Tommy Armour, Jacques Hutchison, and about 20 others came here to, to uh, try to win the Great Lakes Open. You know, Tom Watson grew up here. Uh, Gene Saracen told Ken Venturi about the place, said you have to play it, had to play it to number 16. Um, who else? Uh, Jack Nicholas just came last year to play it. On the uh, recommendation of Tom Watson, so we have lot, you know, 41 major champions, which is right there, who competed here. So, to you, mm -hmm. when, when you're asked about this golf course, what's special about the playing experience? Um, well, it's it's playable for everybody. It's uh, you know, a good player like yourself can play it, and uh, you know, the, the 31 handicap can play it and not lose too many golf balls. It's very accessible in the front of the greens. Uh, it's not penalizing. And it's a course that everyone can play and, and enjoy every day, not you know, get beat up too, too badly. The greens and the surrounds here are what make it special. It's, uh, there's very generous off the tee box, but getting up and down, short game, and putting is uh, the tricky part. And it has. It's, 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 we've had 40 state amateur championships here. We're hosting our 41st in 2025 for a centennial. And um, yeah, this, this place is very, very difficult when it needs to be. You stand on that first tee and you know right away you're in for something special. That view is, it's just, it catches your breath. Right, right. And now we've opened up the whole front nine with our restoration of the golf course. So you can actually see every hole from the front nine from the first tee. 
And you can see the clubhouse from every hole on the front nine back, you know, when you're playing the golf course. So it's really spectacular. It's almost kind of like what Oakland Hills did to their restoration and opening up with the views and the vistas and really uh, spectacular right now, yeah. As we showcase golf and life and fun in the, in the Charlevoix area, this northern Michigan stretch is about as good as it gets. You come play at Belvedere, then you can head out in the water, you can enjoy oh, yeah, it. Yeah. What's it like up here in this part of northern Michigan? Well, it's, it, you say we are, we're on three lakes, Lake Charlevoix, Round Lake, and Lake Michigan. And it's a great you know, shopping, restaurants, you know, great restaurants in Charlevoix, great golfing, and it's a great place to uh, spend your summers. Um, lots of people have second and third homes on Lake Charlevoix, so it's, it's a wonderful, it's getting, the word's gotten out, so everyone has kind of discovered the area. We started off the show today out on Lake Charlevoix, so we're going to round things out that way. Josh Mack is the captain of Sunshine Charters. Man, this office, this is a pretty nice place. There's worse places to go to work every day, that's for sure. <laughs> so, so what is the magic of coming out on the water on a Sunshine Charter? Uh, the nice thing is, is you're able to see the area from water. It's such a beautiful area, but not a lot of people can experience it by water. So we like to take them out, show them the area by water, and our deep blues and turquoise water is, is always intriguing to people. Well, everything is, including just the chance to kick back and relax a little bit. I see nobody stressed out here on the boat. <laughs> we try not to have any stress on the boat. We leave that at the dock and uh, try to enjoy ourselves for the two hours we're here. Is it true that we were setting out on a three-hour tour? A three hour tour. It's specifically why we do two hour tours. We don't do the three hour tour here, that's for sure. Well, thank you for having us. This is this is very special. This is so beautiful. Well, thank you for coming out with us. We enjoy having you guys. Okay, we come to the final couple of moments here, Amanda, and we've seen great golf, so much fun off the course, great dining, and all these different aspects of a visit to Charlevoix. So, how do we put it all together? Yeah, I think. The, our website is a great resource or I mean call our office we love talking to people and we love helping you plan your trip so um, we're a phone call away or a, a website away our website is visit charlevoix.com so you can get more information there to help plan your trip but um, I really want to encourage folks um, especially golfers to golf off peak summer season um, so that is huge for us. We're very busy in the summer and um, we, we want to encourage folks to come like May, early June um, into September. So it's, it's the best time to be here off season when it's not so busy. You'll, you'll love it a lot more, I promise. There is nothing like spending time in Northern Michigan around and after Labor Day, still enjoying the great temperatures, but a, a, a little smaller crowd. Yes. Yep, after Labor Day is the best. Um, I've been telling you that the whole time you've been here, Bill. It's September is the best month to be here in Charlevoix. Um, it is it is the greatest. Weather's great. Sunsets are beautiful. Um, you get a little crisp fall air in, in the evenings, but um, just honestly, the best time to be here. And it's it's my little secret. So if I tell too many people, I think the the locals will um, not be not be so happy with me. But all of all of your friends are my friends. So <laughs> come on up in September. When we came here, I was pretty well aware of the great golf in the region, but you opened our eyes up to so many other attractions, the beauty, the history, the culture of the area. I think it's, it's fair to make the case that whether you golf or not, Charlevoix is a great destination to visit. That's right, yeah. Um, golf, I mean, I think it's important that there's golf um, at every level in Charlevoix. So there's, you know, championship golf. There's also, um, you know, golf for the beginners, um, which is really important um, to see that. Um, and I think your show spells that out really well. But yeah, even for families that have one golfer and everybody else just wants to come along for the ride, there's tons of activities to do um, year round in Charlevoix. So the, anybody can find something to do here. Visit charlevoix.com. That's the place to go. We have tried to present to you all of Charlevoix's beauty in 30 minutes, which is impossible. This is the very best that Pure Michigan has to offer. So the best way for you to plan your next trip to this beautiful part of the world is to go online to visit charlevoix.com. You'll find all the information about golf, lodging, and other activities. And you can even figure out the drawbridge schedule. Man, it's beautiful up here. Hope to see you soon in Charlevoix.